from this lecture we are going to start a new course which is the course of reasoning and aptitude and this course of reasoning and aptitude is for the students who want to appear in gate and ESC exam and also for those students who want to crack their campus placements so without any delay we will move on to our discussion now and the question number one is what is reasoning and what is aptitude aptitude in English means the natural ability to do something so your natural ability or capability to do something is known as aptitude and what is reasoning reasoning is the process of evaluation using the aptitude you have for example you have a problem statement in front of you and uh, to solve that problem statement you will have some aptitude that is you will have some ability and the process of evaluation using your natural ability is known as reasoning so I hope you now understand what is reasoning and what is aptitude now we will move on to the subsections of reasoning and aptitude or you can say different classes of reasoning and aptitude the first one is quantitative ability in this the problems are based on mathematics so whenever you have a problem which needs mathematical calculations it will be under quantitative ability section for example the length and breadth are increased by 15 percent and 25 percent respectively what is the percentage increase in the area of rectangle so this problem requires mathematical calculations let's see how let's say initially the length is equal to L and breadth is equal to B and we know the area of rectangle will be length multiplied to the breadth so the area will be equal to length multiplied to the breadth now according to the question length is increased by 15 percent so the new length let's say L prime will be equal to the initial length L plus 15 percent increment in the initial length that would be 0.15 L so from here we have L prime the new length equal to 1.15 times initial length L similarly the breadth is increased by 25 percent so the new breadth B prime is equal to 1.25 the initial breadth now the new area the new area will be equal to the new length multiplied to the new breadth so we have 1.15 L multiplied to 1.25 B and this will be equal to 1.44 L multiplied to B or we can say it is equal to L B plus 0.44 L B L B is the initial area and 0.44 LB will be 44 percent of initial area LB so how much increment is there in the area of rectangle it is 44 percent so you can see that mathematics is involved to solve this problem and that is why it requires your quantitative ability to solve now moving on to our second class which is logical ability in this the problems are based on logical thinking for example we have these five numbers given and we need to find the sixth number to find the sixth number we can use our logical thinking the first thing we notice is that 2 is our first number 12 is our number 2 36 is third number 80 is fourth 150 is our fifth number and if I add 1 with 1 I have 2 now following the same approach if I add 2 with 2 I have 4 but here we have 12 so what we can do to have 12 out of this I can take square of 2 and I can take cube of this 2 and we will have 4 plus 8 giving us 12 in this case also 1 squared plus 1 
cube will give us 2. For this, we have 3 squared plus 3 cube giving us 9 plus 27, 36. Similarly, 4 squared plus 4 cube will be 80. 5 squared plus 5 cube will be 150. And the sixth number will be 6 squared plus 6 cube which is equal to 36 plus 216. When you add it, you will have 252. So the number 6 is 252 and we have obtained it by using our logical thinking. Now moving on to our third class which is verbal ability. Verbal ability will have the questions based on English language. For example, the synonym for implore is the synonym for implore is beg and this section we will not discuss in reasoning and aptitude course we will have it in english course let's move on to our final class which is data interpretation in this section the problems contain data in the form of table graph pie chart etc and using the data we need to find out answers of the given question for example here we have a pie chart and this is the pie chart for a printing press having different expenses listed and the question is the royalty on the book is less than the binding charges by how many percent this we are not going to solve now but if you want you can give it a try and once you have your answer post it in comment section so we are done with understanding what is reasoning and aptitude and what are the sub sections of it let us now move on to the syllabus of this course. I will read out the topics in the syllabus one by one. First is ratio and proportion. Second is number system. Third is set theory and Venn diagram. Fourth is percentages. Fifth is time and work. Then we have profit and loss. After this, we will study pipes and tanks. Eighth one is time and distance. Ninth one is simple interest and compound interest. Tenth is permutations and combinations. Eleventh is probability. Twelfth is calendar. Thirteenth is clock. Fourteenth is directions. Fifteenth is cubes. Then we have dices. Seventeenth is seating arrangements. Eighteenth is blood relations. Nineteenth is logical reasoning. Twentieth is data interpretation. 21st is analytical ability and the final one is coding and decoding. So these are the topics we are going to understand in this course and we will solve many questions to master all of them. So this is all for this lecture. I will end it here. See you in the next one.